and welcome to another episode from the School Tech HQ. Uh, and uh, this time it's another Tinkercad tip or tutorial. So we're going to look at how to group objects together in Tinkercad. Uh, now this is going to be very similar to the um, how to make holes. I'll link that video um, somewhere. But this one's going to be looking at how to create um, objects that are joined together. So if I put a cylinder here and we use the new cruise function which allows us to just instead of placing I say um, this dome put it at the top there and that's that's fine. So now we've got our two objects and um, if I want to then add I don't know like another object let's just um, let's go for a square quite straightforward. If I did a square and I say actually I want these to be on top of this now I can use my cruise function to guide them up one at a time. It's not really ideal. Use my cruise again, that magnet, and then I use, use the middle point. There we go. Now the problem is if I want to then move all this over to a different place, and um, if I click on the bottom one and move to square, so I want to use the square over here, it's not all going to move together. So we need to fix that. The way to fix that um, is by selecting all. So if I hold down shift, and I can select all the objects. Now they're all selected, it tells me I've got three shapes selected. Right above that, there's this kind of square and circle joined together here. And as you can see, there's a shortcut as well. So I can either click on that, and it creates a group. And now it all moves together, and I can change the color of this. Uh, let's make it that, or I can customize it. I can choose specific points, and still show the different colors that way. So, they're all grouped together now. That means I can move it wherever I want and they're not going to fall apart. It also means when printing, uh, if you're going to connect it to 3D printing, that it will all be connected. If you're doing it as a 3D printed model, there will be a gap between each one and it, your print wouldn't really uh, work well. Now, if you want to change anything though, if you want to remove anything, I can just click the icon that was next to the group one, which is ungroup, and there you have it. Another way to do that is if it's all only two things I want to join together, so maybe just these two, I could click and drag. If you're on a mobile or a tablet, um, you're going to have to, if you click one item and then click another object, then it will automatically kind of select both, um, which makes it a bit easier. After that, what you're then going to do is um, create this uh, here. So you can do that, or I could just control G. And there we go, I now have this object here which I can move around. This is really good also if you're making um, holes. So let me just move it all together. If I want to create a hole in this, I would use a little shift and use that bottom square. We can make the whole thing smaller, make it taller, and add it to the middle. Um, so if you want them to do like a pencil topper here, put it in the middle. And then we can select all again. So control A you can use, or you can drag it all because you can't select something that's in the middle because it's hidden. You can see that we've selected all of it because it's now you're saying that we've got two shapes selected. And then we just group it together. And then if I look from below, you can see that there's now a hole in the middle of that. And that's how you group and ungroup. And if I want to ungroup everything, I can just select it. Control Shift G, or you can click that to ungroup. And if I want to ungroup again, control shift G in each step until it's all separated. So there you go, that's how to group objects together in Tinkercad. Really simple, a really straightforward way to do it. Now, just a little quick tip. If you are grouping, make sure they are touching each other. You can actually group objects when they're not together. With this one, this dome back. This dome is on top of there. I can actually group them to together. That doesn't mean they're joined, but it means that they are one object when it comes to moving things around. So if you have multiple things you need to move, you can just quickly do that. But obviously printing-wise, make sure that there's no gaps between any of your items. Um, if I had add this in, oh, where is it going? It's going everywhere. If I add this in here, but I raised it slightly and then grouped it together. You see there's a gap. Now when it comes to printing, that gap means that the printer will then have a bit of a fault. It won't print it properly and then you'll get spaghetti. Lovely spaghetti 3D printing. But yeah, so please make sure that you are joined together when you are grouping them 
so there's no gaps. Thanks for watching, until next time.